What's up, my fellow Michiganders, Michiganians, Detroiters, Flintstones, Youpers, whatever you happen to call yourself. Welcome to the Wolverine State Sports Talk. And uh, today we got some big news coming out of Ann Arbor. Um, the Wolverines decided to cancel their game against the Ohio State Buckeyes as AD Ward Manuel reported that there were 45 coronavirus cases on Michigan's roster. Um, I'm sure many of you have probably already heard the news by now. Um, I want to give you what my perspective is on it. Um, I'm hearing a lot of people say, yay, yay, we didn't play because now we don't get to get beat by 50 points. But truth is, I'm I'm kind of bummed we didn't get to play. Um, first off, from a selfish reason, I think this uh, gives Jim a little bit of breathing room because without watching his team getting blown out, you know, you're not going to get the boosters and the fans going, oh my gosh, we got blown out. We can't keep this guy around. Kind of gets that benefit of the doubt. Um, that's the first thing. Num- um, number two, I feel bad for these players. I know <laughs> I kind of I shredded them on my last Michigan video, but you know what? These guys still have worked hard. They they deserve a chance to play, and I'm I guarantee you all of them wanted to play this game. Uh, those people are saying, "Oh, they were scared. They didn't want to play this game." You guys have never played. I bet you many of you guys have never even played college football in your life. Um, these guys wanted to play the game. They wanted to shut up the annoying fans like me for the, the guys who are constantly criticizing Harbaugh and everybody. I'm sure they wanted that chance. So, you know, even if they did get beat by 50, it still would have been a good experience for them, for the players. Um, Cause you know, we can't practice right now. We're not getting any better. Um, so it is what it is. Um, but the thing that really is disturbing me, I'm, I'm sick and tired of all the conspiracy theories going around on social media that somehow Michigan fabricated these cases or that, you know, they only didn't play because they were too scared to play. Just just shut up. Look, I, I roasted Ward Manuel and Jim Harbaugh harder than anybody has in a long time on my last video. I let them have it. But I'm not going to accuse them of faking COVID cases or just canceling this game just for the heck of it or just quitting. I guarantee you these two guys wanted to play. Um, it would just It's just completely unprofessional. And most people saying stuff like th- that – uh, you know, don't have any credibility or no evidence whatsoever. So, you know, I'm not going to get into that. But the fact of the matter is Ohio State would have waxed us. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. It's just, it's unfortunate. Uh, I'd like to say I feel bad for Ohio State. I always feel bad for the players, but you know, as as fans, you guys have had so many lucky breaks over the years. It's ugh, it's about time that something didn't go your way. But the Big Ten is now readjusting the rules. Um, so it is what it is. They're the best team in the Big Ten. So, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say those players don't deserve a chance to go to the Big Ten title game and go to the playoff uh, as long as it, they get enough games in. Um, but I'm going to focus more on Michigan now because – Here's what this does. Now pretty much your season is over. You're not go- I don't think you're going to a bowl game since you're 2 and 4. Uh you never know. Maybe they might draw enough money to do it, but if I were Ward Manuel, I'd like this this is time to act now. I read a report that said he is still negotiating talks with Jim Harbaugh. Look, I I already told you my stance on what I think should happen with Jim Harbaugh, but here's the thing. You got to make a decision. You got to do this stuff now. Because the longer you wait, the longer it's going to hurt recruiting. You know, signing day is in February, and, you know, if you drag this out as long as possible, you're going to get a lot of players like, what What are you guys doing? De- and then they're going to decommit. If you're going to re-sign Harbaugh, do it now. Do it as soon as you possibly can, because the longer you wait, the longer this lings on. Uh, you know, the worse, the worse it's going to get. Or you know, what you should be doing is, Start getting in t- contact with some of these other coaches whose seasons are almost over. I mean, you just saw South Carolina go out there and hire Shane Beamer. That See, that's the reason why you fire a coach midseason if you think it's not working out. South Carolina was smart because then they got early access to Shane Beamer. And, you know, Virginia Tech really wanted him because he was Frank Beamer's son and has great, you know, great experience coaching with uh, Lincoln Riley and several other programs, but they didn't get a chance to get him. So if you're Ward, this kind of – in a way, this is kind of at least use this to your advantage to start, 
you know, researching coaches, uh, trying to get in contact with guys. Um, you know, if there's any coordinators you want to seek out, but I mean, the thing is, if you're going to rehire Jim Harbaugh, like you say you're going to do, and you're going to extend him, you got to do that now. You know, it just seems like the fans, as fans, we don't really know what's going on. And that means players don't really know what's going on. I'm talking about 18, 19 year old high school kids that don't know who their coach is going to be. Um, you know, you need to, you need to hurry up and get this going. And I understand if Harbaugh gets fired, we might lose a few recruits, but you know what? Like, here's the thing. Yeah. Michigan is recruiting really well, but they're not performing well. And, uh, you know, you look at other coaches around there, Luke Fickle, has 70th ranked recruiting classes yet. They've won more games than Michigan over the past five years. Iowa State, similar situation with Matt Campbell. So, you know, I think I'd rather pick a guy that does the same with lesser recruits because what are they going to do when they get big-time recruits, you know? Um, I mean, I, th I think Fickle can deal with big personalities. Um, he's just going to have to assemble a team, going to have to be as professional and militant as possible. We just, It's just Jim Harbaugh... I just see a lack of toughness from Jim Harbaugh over the past few years. That's That was really surprising to me. Um, I think we just need to get a young guy who's ready to be in this for the long run and, you know, has adapted to the changes in the game, can recruit, and Campbell and Fickle would be the perfect candidates for that. So here's the thing. I really want Jim out of here, but if you're going to keep him, do it as soon as you can. Don't leave people hanging. Start doing – use this to your advantage, Ward. All right, guys, thank you for listening. Go Blue, and uh, I'll see you next time.